Hi guys, so today I have a review for you for the Gel Polish Pro Kit. Now this was sent to me, I did not pay for this with my own money. Um, so I just wanted to say that. And then I will link their website down below so you guys can go find them on their website. Um, you can also pick up this kit at Target and I believe at Ulta as well. Um, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and then I'm also going to be doing a tutorial for this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box just to kind of show you what's inside and I'll go through each item as I pull it out. So first thing when you open up the box, you get your instructions which are colored and then it gives you different times here and it tells you about each one of the products and kind of what they're for and the steps that you need to take to ensure that your manicure works out well. So I'm going to go ahead and break the plastic. And as you can see, it comes very nicely wrapped up so nothing's going to get messed up or shift in the box or have items spill, which sometimes can be a problem. So I do like the way that they package it right off the bat. So here's what it looks like. So to start out with, you get a gel polish color and the color that it comes with is their, the name of its red carpet ready and it's kinda like their signature color alright then you also get their purify purify is what you use before you start your manicure and then you also use this to clean the tacky layer at the end you get your erase which helps you take off your manicure once you're done it soaks it off with no damage to your fingers the next item is the prep This just ensures that everything sticks well to the nail plate structure is the base coat so you apply this after the prep and again this ensures good adhesion of the gel product product and then you get your top coat which is brilliance and this goes on at the very end after you've applied your color and then you get revitalize which is a cuticle oil and you put that on after your manicure to rehydrate your cuticles and then this is the so this is the lamp it has a button here and the front of it has the little R it has three bulbs inside. So it comes with a USB cord, so you can choose to use this like with your laptop or computer. It just plugs in here on the side. And then if you do choose to plug it in, it also comes with the AC adapter. And then I also forgot to mention before that the LED light is a 6 watt LED lamp. And then it also has a self timing, so it times for 45 seconds. Alright guys, so to start off your manicure, what you're going to want to do is you want to prep your nail. So what I mean by that is you want to come in and you want to make sure that you take away any dead skin that might be on the nail plate. You want to push back your cuticles. And then you want to slightly buff the surface of the nail. So I'm going to be using this here, which is just a buffing, um, a sponge buffer. You can use a polar block or whatever you have that will you work. You probably don't want to use a really abrasive file, but... Um, it's up to you. So all you're going to do is you're just taking the shine off the nail. So I'm not going in really hard or anything. And you just want to do that very light. My nails look matte and that's just because we took off that shine layer that's on there. And that's just going to help everything adhere and give you a nice smooth surface. At this time if you wanted to shape your nails you could also do that. So once you've done that and you've cleaned up your nail completely you're going to come in and you're going to use the Purify and a lint-free wipe and you're just going to clean the nail. As you can see it's sealed here so I'm just going to use my little orange wood stick here to push that. Got some on there and then I'm just going to remove any dust. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to all my nails, and then I'll meet you guys right back. 
All right guys, so once your nail plate's completely clean and you've gone in and cleaned it with your Purify, the next step is to go in with your prep. So you're just gonna wanna put a thin layer of that all over the nail, making sure not to touch your skin. So the next step for our manicure is to go in with structure and this is your gel base coat. This is to cure 30 seconds in the lamp. You can leave it in the lamp for the full 45 seconds, but you don't have to. Now you want to make sure when you're doing this that you, that you do very thin coats and you want to make sure that you cap the nail. So what I mean by cap the nail is you're going to put product all over the nail plate from the base of the nail all the way up and then you want to just make sure that you put a little cap on the end of the free edge. And again, you're keeping that very... Now, if for whatever reason you do happen to get some on the skin, what you can do is come in with a clean orange wood stick and you can just clean around your nail there. And then you're going to go ahead and cure. So once that's come out of the light, the next step is to add your color. So I'm going to be using the color that came in the kit, Red Carpet Ready. And again, you want to do this in thin coats. So when I take the polish out, I'm going to scrape it off and just have very little on there. And again, you're going to start at the back and pull the color forward and make sure to cap the free edge. So go ahead and cap it. And again, you don't want to get on the cuticle and you don't want to get on your side walls. And right there where I touched my nail, you can just come in with an orange wood stick and clean up any that gets on the skin there. And you want to do that before you cure. And again, keeping your layers very, very thin. Okay, and then again, you're just going to want to make sure you go around your nails to make sure there's no excess polish on your skin. And then you're going to go ahead and cure for their full 45 seconds this time. Once your nails have cured, you're just going to go in with a second coat of your color. And again, you're still keeping this very thin. You don't want to make the polish bulky on your nail because that can cause lifting. And each time that you add a layer, you're going to make sure that you cap that free edge and that you're not getting any on the skin. Okay, so once you've done your second coat, you're just going to go ahead and put that in the lights again for 45 seconds. So one thing I will say real quick while I have this in the light is the polish itself is really nice consistency. It feels just like regular nail polish. Um, it does have a little bit of a smell to it, but it's not bad at all. Um, also, the color, or at least this color in particular, is very pigmented and goes on very well. So I think with two coats, this color's fine. Now you may need to do three coats. Um, if you have a more sheer polish that you're working with. So just keep that in mind if you guys are using a different color. So again, I'm going to go ahead and let this cure for 45 seconds. And then depending on the coverage, um, you may need to do a third, depending how thin you went. So once you've got your color built up to where you want it, you can go in with your Brilliance, which is the top coat. And you're going to go ahead and apply that in the same fashion. You're going to go from the base of the nail to the tip, making sure to cap the free edge. And then you're going to go ahead and cure that again for 45 seconds in the lamp. Alright guys, so once you've pulled out your nails from the final cure with the Brilliance, what you're going to do is you're going to come in with your Purify again and a clean lint-free wipe. You're going to saturate the wipe and you're just going to remove the tacky layer. Mommy. 
and you're done. Your nails are completely dry at this point. You can do anything that you want with them. Um, as you can see here, I'm touching them. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my nails to this point, and then I'll meet you guys back to show you the final product. All right, guys, so I went ahead and washed my hands, and I finished both hands here. So all that's left to do is just go in with your cuticle oil, which they provide. And you're just going to go ahead and put that on your cuticles just to kind of rehydrate and nourish them. So that's it for the manicure. Now I will say that this cuticle oil smells really good. It has kind of a lemony smell to it. Alright guys, so real quick I just wanted to wrap up this video. So as you can see my nails are done here and I got no bubbling. The polish itself was really smooth and easy to apply. I feel like it's a really good quality product. Um, for the price point, I feel like you get a lot of stuff. You get the lamp, you get the prep, everything that you need is basically in one box. Um, I also like that they give you a fair amount of the Erase and the Purify. I will say compared to other um, LED lamps that are in this kind of price range, you know, you don't get hardly as much stuff. You know, you do not get a prep. You do not get a prep and then you do not get the dehydrator liquid which I thought was really good. I feel like this product is really well put together and they put a lot of thought into it. As far as the lamp goes, it's very good quality. It does not feel um, f cheap or plasticky. I mean, it is made out of plastic, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart if you move it too much. The other thing that I really liked is the length of the cord. Um, it's really long, so it's gonna give you a lot of reach to kind of get into places you know, if you don't have a close outlet, you'll be able to kind of stretch it. And then again, you have that choice of either having the plug-in or having the USB um, to plug into your computer or your laptop or something similar. So I thought that that was really good and very convenient. Do I think that it's worth the price? Absolutely. I think you guys get a lot of great product. And I would definitely recommend the system. As far as the longevity of the product goes, you know, obviously I just barely tried it out. This is my first time using this product and the entire system so I'll do a follow-up video for you guys and I'll show you how to use the erase and we'll see if it lasts as long as they claim for the up to two weeks so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I also wanted to say thank you to the red carpet manicure company for sending me this to try I really do appreciate it If you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down below and as always thank you for watching